I believe I have to clear the air before I go on in this video. Before you begin to call me materialistic or before you begin to say, I'm encouraging ladies to be all about money, you know, money, 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 money. Let's get this straight now. There's a difference between a broke guy and a broke and lazy guy. Now, there is a difference between a guy who is broke and lazy and a guy who is actually hardworking, but it's a four-digit guy. You know what I mean? I mean, he earns in four digits. You understand? Yeah. And uh, there's a difference between these two people, okay? So, there's a difference between a guy who just needs um, a lady to augment him. Like, he is broke, he is lazy, or he is a four-digit guy who is also lazy and just believes he needs a lady and in six digits to complete him. Are we clear? Like, are we clear? Yeah. I don't want my dear ladies falling for such broke guys. Okay. Um, ladies, so in this video, I'm about to tell you really common lies you would see. You're not going to see. You're going to hear. You would hear in the mouth of this broke and lazy guys and the four digit lazy guys and before i tell you this why have you not subscribed to my channel yet like i don't know if you've been watching my videos and you're yet to subscribe why come on please it's just to me that favor it takes only about 30 seconds and in case you're watching this video from facebook and you're yet to subscribe I know when you want to subscribe, does it send into your account? It's nothing difficult, you know. I mean, if you forgot your password, just say, Yeah, recover password, and it will be done in two seconds. Or go to your YouTube app. Almost everyone has a YouTube app on their phones. Search for me on YouTube. You know, you know my name now. I mean, you know the name of the channel. Live Lessons by Goldero. You're going to see me and just hit the subscribe button. Okay, um, so let's read like two seconds now. You've touched that red button below and it's showing subscribed. Thank you. Okay, let's get into the video of the day. One common lie you will hear from the broke and lazy guys still staying with their mamas or their mommies at 40 is this. <sighs> Actually, I just moved in with my mom not so long ago because of a very terrible experience with my ex. You see, um, I had a business trip to go to and I was out for a couple of months. And my girlfriend um, and I were so close that she had an extra key to my apartment. So she comes in and goes as she pleases. And after three months of my business, I came back home, you know, <laughs> came to the house and um, it was empty. Yeah. <laughs> the apartment was empty. Everything was gone. The TV, the sofa, the washing machine, everything was gone. And I stood there and I was shocked and I could not understand what the heck was going on. Okay, well, what's going on here? I had to call my landlord. What the heck is going on? And he said that my girlfriend came around with a moving van and moved every of uh, my property and said we were going to a new house. Okay, we we're going to a new house, Mr. Landlord, and you never called me. And he said he tried my number severally and it didn't go. And my girlfriend said, usually when I'm on a business trip like that, my phone is switched off most of the time and since we're so close he believed her it was a terrible experience for me it, it's something I, I don't want to think about anymore because i lost a lot during that terrible experience and i just had to move with my mom to you know um regain myself and when i was thought i said to get a new apartment but my mom said no i should just hold on until I find someone I know, I trust, because she doesn't want me going to that kind of a thing again. Because then she said, don't have a girlfriend. I mean, I'm, I'm an adult. I definitely will. And she really cried and begged me. And I had to listen to her. We know how mothers are. I had to listen to her. And that's what I've been doing, you know, just staying here while believing God for, uh, you know, um, a good woman I can actually share my life with. And I want to believe that too. So damn believable right it is so unbelievable isn't it my sister hey this is a like hey oh <laughs> i'm telling you what i have heard like what i have heard do you know that the first time i heard the story i believed it hook line and sinker i even dated the guy for a couple of months before i broke up now he was not broke like he he was working you know though he was a four digit guy he was working as a four digit guy but that was why i broke up with him we we're not compatible yeah that was why i left not because of money only for me after a couple of months you know one of the guys that asked me out used 
this same story. Eh? I don't understand. Like, what's going on here? Hey, hey. That was where my brain just... Bang. Oh, okay. So this is the new thing in town. Hi. <laughs> I was not done trying to understand what was going on. A friend of mine was, we were talking and she was telling me of a guy who was asking her out using the same story. Mm? Okay. One thing with these broke and lazy guys is they are not smart. They don't get sense. So they tend to borrow lies from each other. Do you understand? So you just keep hearing the same things. It's like a circle, like what the heck is going on? Okay. So if you hear this, ladies, just know that Naska. Is a lie. They are lying. Or better still do a thorough investigation before you go with that relationship. If you've chosen to be DSS, what can I say? But don't mind me. You always have to um, do a thorough investigation before you go into any relationship. If you, if, you, if you have the time, it's a good thing. So in case you've heard this, my sister, evaluate that man, re-evaluate him. And also keep your ears open for this kind of story. Nalayu. The second lie, I mean, a common lie you hear from broke and lazy guys is this. I just lost my job, you know. I just lost my job a couple of months ago, you know. This is so freaking common. Oh my goodness, these guys, I don't know if they'll receive sense. <laughs> anyway, if they had enough sense, they won't be, you know, broke and sitting at home. And let me quickly say this now, ladies, that a guy is sitting at home does not mean he's not working home. He could be working with his phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Note that because I work with my phone sometimes. So he could be working with his phone. He could be doing an online business or something. So working does not mean going out or being in an office. So I am not saying when guys don't go out. I'm just saying when they are not working and doing nothing to bring income. Abby, we understand each other. This set of guys, I, I just lost my job. And then the wife to tell you, the company wanted to do something really shady and I didn't want to do it. And I, ha I was laid off. So I've been believing God for a new job, you know. So you just lost your job. And you're still there at home doing nothing. And you still have the liver. You have the mind. You have the boldness to be looking for a girlfriend. Bah. So it's water that used to run the relationship. Huh? It is water that used to run the relationship. My brother, I just can't sit down somewhere. Oh, calm down. May God use your bed. Sister, you to receive sense. How, how do you want to? Okay, you really want to run the relationship, huh? You're the one always giving. And then they will tell you, this, this particular set of guys say, they are the ones that can sing this national anthem. I need a woman who can go, go through with me um, in the tough times so that when it becomes better, she will also enjoy. Oh, Barry. See, that he's broke today does not mean he'll be rich tomorrow. <laughs> Most guys are broke from the world till they die. So my sister receives sense. You understand? So don't let him deceive you. He just lost his job. And you're sitting at home as a man doing absolutely nothing. You're not doing nothing online. You're not, I'm not talking of Yahoo now, please. You're not doing nothing online. You're not doing nothing to bring in income. And you're so comfortable to the point of psyching a woman or trying to get you know into a relationship. Ah, sister, don't fall in that trap. Don't even think about it, please. I love you. Do not fall for that trap. The thought cover lie you would hear from the broke and lazy guys is this. Actually, my business just crashed um, a couple of months ago, but it's been picking up. God's been faithful. I've been getting a couple of contracts. You know the interesting part? You see these very ones, these very business people, they are well packaged. If you see them on Instagram and Facebook, even in a real life, they are well packaged. As a matter of fact, some of them were designers. From the money they got from other women like you, who did not use their head, their number six like this. <laughs> see, this type, oh my goodness, God, they are smooth talkers. If you're not careful, they will carefully deceive the life out of you, deceive the money out of your pockets. Um, I actually just lost my job and I've been getting contracts, you know, from the government. But you know how contracts are. You need money to make it happen. So they are directly or indirectly asking you for money. I know I just, and this type, they go for the rich ladies. Yeah, they go for the working class that they know that can bring out the money that they want. Uh -huh. Their power is in the tongue. Now, they will do anything to validate their lie. Let me tell you a very quick story now. There was a guy, you know, sometime, so many years back in the city of Calabar. And this guy was using the same story. But he had to go to the length of going to the church 
to give testimonies. I don't want to call the name of the church. Now, you know, he will go on the pope with that. I mean, who wants to believe that the testimony is a lie? Not everybody will clap their hands. Oh, praise the Lord. The lady will say, oh, this guy was actually saying the truth. I mean, he just gave a testimony. And he was using this particular method to get money from different ladies in the church. Now, he will get some millions from this one, some thousands from this one, just like that. Until one day, one smart lady discovered him. Hmm. An investigation was made. And it was discovered that brother's testimonies have been a lie. Ah! Do you know that the church had to put up a notice on the notice board like, ladies, stay away from so so and so. Like, they wrote down his name with his picture. It was that bad. He even making an announcement in church like, you know, as if the guy was a plague. Ladies, stay away from this particular guy. Please. When a man begins to tell you all of these lines, okay, I just had, I, I mean, I've been winning some contracts, you know, um, I just need some money to make it happen. My dear, run. You know why? I'm not saying it's not going to help a man out. But if that man is your long-time friend, it's a different thing entirely. You see, the first thing a man protects is his ego before he gets married and, you know, begins to protect his wife and his children first. But the first thing a man protects is his ego. And so men generally would find it difficult to stoop so low as to ask a lady who is not your girlfriend, nor your wife, nor your long acquaintance, nor your family member for money. Men generally do not do that. So when you see that man who is so relaxed and comfortable and telling about the problems in his life, and you know you're working. He knows you're working. He knows you have small rubber. Yeah? And you're ready to just waste it on a fool. Sorry to say. Because a man who decides that he doesn't want to do anything in life, but to be getting money from women to augment himself, is a fool. At least women that get from men, she that they sell their body now. Yeah? It's, it's work, though. though it's not good work. Yeah. So, ladies, please be smart. In your search and quest for love, a good relationship and marriage, do not fall for guys who will just use your body, suck your money, and dump you. A few of them might even go ahead to get married to you. And sweetheart, can I tell you what? You would still discover in the marriage that they were lying. They become a liability to your life. Please don't do this to yourself. Ladies, please. I beg. I love you. I love us. Please, in all you do concerning your love life and relationship, be aware of these things and be wise. You understand now? Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please, please drop your comments in the comment section. Did you learn something? Is there any other kind of lie that this man say that maybe I'm not aware of? Let us know in the comment section, okay? And also, please subscribe to my channel if you already done so. And till we.